there was always a mystery about what really happened to the Britannic. Historian Simon Mills believes hard evidence may lie in the waters off Kia Island in Greece, 400 feet down. It was really a case of finding out what the weapon was, trying to find physical evidence on the seabed of what actually sank the Britannic. It's, it's a deep dive, it's a tough dive, but really excited about getting in the water. Below the surface, a lost world and a wreck of startling proportions. And as you look up, you have this, this beautiful deep blue that silhouettes the whole wreck. It takes your breath away, it really does. Divers only ever see a small fraction of this lost giant. It's absolutely massive. She's the largest liner on the seabed, and as a result, um, when you're diving on her, you just cannot see everything. But now, we can drain away the Mediterranean and see Britannic in full. First, the bridge. Then the bow lying on its side. And almost a thousand feet away, three massive propellers each as big as a house, and all still in position. The largest ship of her age, bigger than any cathedral. It's just on a different scale. It's just absolutely gigantic. Gigantic and perfectly preserved. You can compare it to the Titanic, which is broken in half, twisted, mangled, and uh, in a terrible condition, really. Whereas Britannic, you will actually find that everything is practically as it was on the day she sank. <laughs> 